And once again, here's John Rolfe to treat us to an amusing draw for the Wizards Technical Excellence Award. Uh, it's time once again for the Wizards Technical Excellence video in which I select the uh, best and most frequent Wizards contributors and uh, pick a random number from that list to uh, select our winner. Now, here at Best Practices in Las Vegas, uh, we've got uh, representatives of uh, principals and senior principals as well as MCs, uh, MPs, MDs. So it's very appropriate. Uh, they've also spent an entire day in an envisioning workshop uh, so it's appropriate to share my vision for free, limitless power for the world. When you think about it, what can actually be more sustainable than perpetual motion? Uh -oh. here, perpetual motion <laughs> All right. So it's pretty much, uh, as you can see, and uh, you know, there's lots of engineers in the audience, so you probably immediately see how this is going to work. It's uh, based pretty much on Newton's second law. The, uh, the weights here are closer into the radius, and then as they come around, uh, they're heavier, you know, further out, and that's how it generates the power. Now, if you think of this uh, in terms of a Lorentz transformation, it's really, you can see, we're increasing V, uh, the mass MV there. We're actually increasing R for radius, and um, that's how we're generating our power. Of course, that, that's really only true for a speed significantly less than the speed of light. Uh, but it's pretty, it's, it's pretty impractical to turn this at that speed anyway, and then, of course, you might not be able to see it if it was turning the speed of light anyhow. Or maybe you can. I can. Maybe you see the back of it. I can never get that straight. <laughs> anyway, um, I have this electric motor. Just to sustain the reaction, mind you, this is actually a limitless energy source. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, not working real good right at the moment there, but you get the idea. Now, the ones, of course, that'll be uh, used to power cities later on will be a lot larger. <laughs> They'll be made of more sophisticated materials. Uh, I used wood for this one. I actually thought about using, like, um, some exotic rainforest hardwoods, but I thought well, that wouldn't send the best message. No. <laughs> so, the original design, uh, this thing was going to power this slot machine mechanism. Actually, we are in Vegas, of course, so this is how we'll pick our numbers. There was um, some schedule overruns and, uh, you know, difference between the SAO and the PDD and the general failure to follow them procedures. But, so, uh, I fitted it with this crank instead here. Uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and pick our first number. Uh oh, that should be a rotating machine. Thank you. Thank you for sustainable. All right, and we've got um, 690. Actually, we'll use this, we're going to use the 690 to select our Wizards winner. I, I, while we got all the management here, I really want everybody to notice this list. A lot of those guys are up there every time. Um, there's some new names on here, which is pretty cool. And we're going to pick uh, this one right here, which would be 10. So that's going to make the winner uh, Michael Preble. <laughs> 